right, what is up, YouTube? I am back. I got another movie review. This time, we got The Batman. This movie, man, I've been waiting for it. I'm a huge DC fan. Obviously, I love Marvel as well, but DC is something I've always, um, like, kind of gravitated toward a lot as a kid because of Batman, Superman, and all the great heroes that are in it as well. Um, and DC is, like, on a higher note going into this movie. Um, so, obviously, I went to go see it last night on opening night on Canada. We had it out on the Thursday, March the 3rd, so super excited about that. And, um, you know, when I heard, like I said earlier, when I heard about this, I remember a couple of years ago, Robert Pattinson getting, I was like, oh, I don't know, man, like, I, I don't know what's gonna, if this is a good idea, and uh, man, oh man, was I wrong, dude. Like, Robert Pattinson, like, I, I was, okay, obviously when I seen the trailers, they were, fa it was fantastic, but um, just seeing this movie, um, pretty much almost three hours, I think, or just over three hours, just um, incredible. It hasn't been done before, I don't think. I think it's the longest, I think it's over Dark Knight Rises. Um, but right out the gate, I'm going to say right now, this movie gave me goosebumps and chills. Okay. No, I'm not sick. I'm being bugging for real. Um, it, it gave me goosebumps, man. Like honestly, just like throughout the whole movie, man, it had this very like dark feel to it and stuff in Gotham city and stuff that I haven't felt in a long time, man. Like Batman vs Superman and the justice league, which had been Affleck's Batman. I don't even count that shit, man. Like not necessarily that it was bad. Like justice league was pretty good, but um, Zack Snyder, the Snyder Cut, but um, Batman vs. Superman I didn't really like. But uh, this one, The Batman, man, it really gives me um, like something to look forward to to the future because this movie from start to finish was amazing. Right at the beginning, kind of killing Mayor Mitchell, the Riddler, obviously. We kind of knew it, obviously, because of the trailer because we had, obviously, the question mark uh, signature of the Riddler in the Espresso um, Cup. And uh, that's exactly what happened. Uh, we had the Riddler be the main villain in this and just kind of his cult of guys coming toward the end. But Jesus, man, that was so awesome, dude. Like the Riddler is one of those guys like like he wasn't too much. He wasn't really in the movies back then as much. And uh, and I know like I used to play against the Riddler, obviously, in Batman, the Arkham series on PlayStation. Like it was on PS3, PS4 as well. And we used to do things with the Riddler and stuff. So that was really fun. And it was, it was just fun to be able to see that just because the Riddler is such a cool character, man. It's so, so awesome. Like he's sick, like twisted, um, but he has like all these riddles, obviously, which uh, you got to solve and stuff. And um, Robert Pattinson's Batman, Bruce Wayne, was very smart and obviously be able to, to, to solve the riddles and stuff. And oh my God, dude, like just this movie, man, it was just so good. I loved it so much. Um, even the character, like the casting, um, Alfred's was perfect, man. Um, even uh, even um, Penguin, Falcone, they, they did a really good job of this. And then obviously, how can I not mention Selena Kyle, Catwoman, Zoe Kravitz. I knew she was going to nail this role. Kind of already seen it in the trailer, but um, she nailed Selena Kyle. I think she's my favorite Selena Kyle we've ever had. Um, she's been, uh, she was great as it, man. She really had that, like, that feel that she was Catwoman, honestly. And even, like, the bisexuality part. I remember she was actually saying, I was reading an article, that she was... Um, because it kind of seemed like that in the movie, and that's what Celia Kyle actually is. And uh, she said she was, like, told kind of to, um, or she, that's how she interpreted the character. And that's exactly what she did, and just, uh, just how, like, just having, like, Batman and Catwoman, like, actually together, um, obviously navigating throughout the movie, the film, uh, was just really cool to see, like, it done really well. And this is not, like, a knock on the Christian Bale Batman, the Dark Knight series, fantastic Christian Bale is my favorite Batman still. It's just like, this one was great. This was like a breath of fresh air. I think that's the best thing to say. And even just like Robert Pattinson himself as the Batman. I remember at first, like I was telling you before, uh, like I was I was unsure. And I remember that was because like say, just kind of his look, like his hair, like the kind of like little bit shaggy hair. Man, when he took off, like when he would take off the mask in the film and you see like the eyeliner and then like that shaggy hair, like the messy look grungy i loved it man it was so cool I, I love it that was like it was a different thought of batman but it worked so well it was just something that you know just was super nice and um and man oh man just like the story of it all uh you know just really like paying homage to like a lot of all the stuff of the past and um you know what this film really excites me like i said for the future of dc okay because dc recently um I'm gonna say 2021 was when they really like, they've been good since, right? So I know they just dropped the Suicide Squad then, 
fantastic movie. I loved it. Um, and then Peacemaker season one just wrapped up. Fantastic. And then now you got The Batman, which was great as well. So good. Um, and then many movies to come out uh, this year as well. So it just gets me so excited. Batman's one of my favorite characters of all time. Uh, he's just so cool. I do joke around a lot of times where it's like, uh, oh yeah, I uh, kill people. I, I, I don't kill anybody, but I break all their bones and stuff. Like, just kind of funny. And just, you see, like, just the conflict with him where, like, even, like, Selena Kyle wants to, like, believes it's right to kill, but he's like, don't cross the line and stuff. And not to, not to do certain things. Like, like, cause he believes that once you kill, that's when you cross the line, you could go down that dark path, right? And that was just really, really cool just to see it. Just, you see, like, he had that Bruce Wayne feel, just like, really fucked up from his, his parents murder he's still just trying he's trying to make a difference in gotham right and that's kind of what he did just this this movie just man the setting of gotham city i think they got it spot on man it felt like i was playing like batman arkham asylum arkham city arkham knight all over again on playstation and just it felt like that i don't, I don't know how to explain it and just uh, i think everything was really well done in the movie um, I do think uh, we're gonna get like a trilogy out of this. Uh, I don't think this is the only movie. Obviously, if you watch the end, and even like a little post credit, it's not really a scene, but a little little snippet. Honestly, I think we're gonna get though get more movies from this. I can't wait. I want to see Zoe Kravitz back as Selena Kyle. I want to see Robert Pattinson back as Batman. And I know I'm not sure if I heard it from anybody yet, but I don't think I'm not 100% sure if this is actually part of the current DC universe or it's like in some other other like I guess multiverse whatever you want to call it I don't really know I'm kind of confused but I would love Robert Pattinson to be in like the current DC which they're building like the DCU I, I hope I hope uh he's a part of it but I just have a feeling he's not but just let me know down below if uh if you actually know if that is the case but in terms of movie rating obviously uh, I always give one at the end of my movie reviews okay I've went a little bit inflated um in the past about movies uh and stuff so and i've gave like 10 out of 10s on the suzy squad and stuff and spider-man so i'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. um this one was fantastic the latest biggest film which was obviously spider-man no way home i'm gonna be honest with you man i think this movie was not necessarily better but like okay here's the thing spider-man had obviously all the perks of having all these nostalgic characters like you know what i mean to bring in that we haven't seen forever batman didn't have that right so and I just think of like just the long runtime and how like great it was. I think they were both fantastic films. I don't know which one I like better. I'm more of a Batman guy, so I maybe pre I'd prefer the Batman. But let me know down below what you think. If you had to compare the two, if you're a neutral side, if you're like a total Marvel fanboy, total DC fanboy, don't like answer that question. But if you actually, um, if you actually like are pretty neutral, you like both very well, you'd be objective. Let me know what you think was the honestly better film. In your opinion, okay? Because uh, there's a lot of different factors involved and everything. But guys, let me know down below what you thought of the Batman. Uh, did you go watch it on opening weekend? What do you think of it? Did it did it do what you thought it would? Uh, was it a pleasant surprise to you? Uh, just let me know down below about your expectations and all that. And before you leave, um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell down below as well. We're going to be reacting to DC content reviewing it all year long so just uh if you want to see more of this sort of stuff just uh stay tuned like that on the channel you will get notified for that and uh overall man that was an amazing film i think i want to watch it again i'm not gonna lie then i might have to go back to the theater to watch it but yeah it was just a fantastic film i can't wait can't wait for the next little bit of dc and uh anyways guys that was my review of the batman i'll catch you in the next one take care